folks, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So it's currently just me in the video at the moment because Leah is downstairs with Oakley and her mum and I've just come upstairs to get ready because today we are heading to the hospital um, for me to get this like heart monitor put on. It's like a 24 hour, I think it's a 24 hour ECG, which I've had quite a few times before. But um, yeah, we're heading to the hospital for this because I actually have a heart condition. Um, I don't think I've really spoken about it online before. I'm not really sure. I've definitely not spoken about it on our YouTube, that's for sure. But yeah, I have I think I was diagnosed with it back in like 2018 or 2019. I'm actually gonna start getting ready whilst I'm talking because we don't have a lot of time. It's basically, it's called inappropriate sinus tachycardia and it's basically where my heart beats too fast all the time but for no reason like they there's no stress or like any specific reason that causes it so yeah uh, <laughs> that's fun so I, I was on um heart medication for it up until the point of just before I started breastfeeding Oakley I had to come off any heart medication to induce lactation because the heart medication is not safe for um, breastfeeding. And I knew that I would have to come off it anyway for when we would get pregnant with our second. So I was like, I might as well just come off it now. And my heart was okay, actually. It wasn't too bad when I was breastfeeding. It was still beating, like the the heart medication made it beat at kind of like a more of a normal range, like probably around like 85, an average of 85 beats a minute. Um, whereas normally, my average is like 105, 110 when I'm resting. So it wasn't, it was actually like, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad at all. But since being pregnant, my heart has really flared up again. And I know that pregnancy can make your heart beat faster anyway, but yeah, it's really flared up again. And um, they just want to make sure that everything is like, okay, that my heart's not under too much strain with the pregnancy. I also have to get a heart, scan and echo not today um it should be sometime soon just to make sure like all the valves and stuff are working but this is like kind of unrelated to my heart condition but um the place i'm going to get the heart tests done is the same place that so my mum passed away in august last year from a sudden cardiac arrest and it was because her heart was like her arteries and stuff were clogged and we didn't know and like it was um, it was like had put fluid in her lungs and her liver was congested and things like that and we we didn't know that that was happening to her because she'd been seeing a heart specialist for years and she actually had the same condition I have for the inappropriate sinus tachycardia so she'd been under um, a heart specialist for years and she'd been complaining for the past few years like with breathlessness and um, kind of asking them like, is it my heart? Like, are you able to check? And they never did any actual scan on her heart, like an echo, like they're gonna do for me. And if they literally did an echo on her heart and actually checked her heart, like even two years ago, they would have seen that her arteries were clogging up and like could have saved her life. So going to this place today, I'm really struggling, especially when I'm gonna be having the echo, which would have literally been the scan that could have saved my mom's life, like could have got her the treatment that she needed to prevent this happening to her. So I'm really, not really looking forward to going. Um, and I really hope I don't see the same doctors that she saw because I do feel like they let her down so yeah it's gonna be hard but I'm gonna go now because I'm really failing at getting ready whilst talking so I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys when we're in the car we have now arrived at the hospital it is absolutely freezing it is so cold we've parked in the car park we go for for maternity so we have a little bit of a walk it's the car park we know so Wow, look at that sun. Oh my gosh, the sun is so bright. That's one thing I hate about um, like winter and driving, that the sun is so low. We'll go this way then, yeah? Yeah. But yeah, hopefully it'll all go okay. It's a bit scratchy, so 
February. Mm -hmm. So right. So how many weeks are you? Uh, Twenty six. Oh wow, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna tie it in a bow. How are you feeling? Fine. <laughs> I feel so funny with wires hanging out of my top. So we are now just walking to the car. We actually were seen very quickly and Caitlin's gonna literally take you along today with like what her readings are because I think I'll be really interested. Probably yeah, like I can show you guys like my heartbeat at different times of the day. So yeah, we're gonna get home, see our little baby boy and carry on with the day. So I am home now and I haven't really been doing much, um, just relaxing, being with Oakley. Um, I've just come upstairs, so I've been chilling upstairs and I wanted to show you my heart rate. So um, this is the monitor and as you can see, it's 117 at the moment and that is just with me standing up. <laughs> um, like not really doing anything. So that's kind of my like baseline average heart rate most of the time anyway. So it will be interesting to see throughout the day what my heart does. Like if I walk up the stairs or something, like I'll check and see and keep you guys updated. So we have been home for about two hours and we haven't really done much apart from the washing. Being with Oakley and we did some work and now Oakley's in bed and to be honest, I think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm so tired. The sun is really sunning today. Luna, you know, are you gonna say hello to the vlog? <laughs> say hello, hello. I don't know if we show you Luna, but this is Luna and she is our beautiful baby. Um, she's meowing so much, so I'm so sorry if that gets annoying. But I just thought I would pop on to say, now Oakley's asleep, I'm gonna have a nap myself. And I'm very excited. I've been thinking about this nap since the minute I woke up. So yeah, gonna have a little nap and we will speak to you guys very soon. So I'm just laying in bed at the moment with Leah whilst Oakley is fast asleep having his nap. And I thought I'm gonna check what it says my heart rate is whilst I am laying down. Let's see. One of the wires actually came off earlier, so I'm not sure if that affects anything. Um, so it says it is a hundred and, it keeps changing, 105. 105 beats per minute, which again is pretty normal for me when I'm laying down. So I've just been cooking our dinner. We are having pie and chips with some broccoli. So pretty simple dinner, but I thought I would check again what my heart rate is. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how much my heart rate is 117. It is, again, 117. That's, okay, now it's 130, just from talking. <laughs> but yeah, that is heart rate update of the day. And whilst I'm making us dinner, Leah is over here feeding Oakley. And yes, we still have our Christmas tree up because I've been wanting to take this pregnancy photo in front of the tree, but we just haven't done it yet. But. Honestly, I think at this point we're just gonna give up and take it down. Driving me mad. <laughs> Oakley is obsessed with clapping and waving at the moment, and it is so cute. Here and I were just playing with Oakley, like running around. So I'm gonna check what my heart rate is. It is, so it is 130 at the moment, and when we checked when we were doing the running around with Oakley, it was like 162, I think. Something like that, 162. So, yeah. This morning we dropped off the heart monitor, so we'll have to just wait for the results. Hopefully my heart is working properly and everything. But yeah, we had Oakley's birthday party at the weekend. He's currently playing with our blinds. <laughs> but we're just gonna show you some bits that he got. Bear in mind, we have already opened quite a lot of presents. So this is just done. Um, we haven't got round to opening yet. Oakley's birthday was honestly better than we could have ever imagined. Everyone was dancing. Everyone was having fun. It was literally, it was so, so cute. And we, we thought that, you know, like he, was probably gonna get a bit upset at some points because he didn't nap very well that day, oh. typically. Come on, come on now. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh Look, this is from Emilio and me and Sophia. <gasps> Shall we see what it is? What oh. is it? Oh, it's a drawing board. Oh, you're gonna love that, Oakley. Thank you, Oakley. 
absolutely love gonna this. love that so much. Because the way of the car, I'm actually gonna open this straight away after this video. But yeah, he slept. He didn't sleep very well, but he was so good. He didn't cry or anything. He really enjoyed the whole day, which was just made it extra special. Look, Oakley. That's a lovely teddy. Oakley loves books. Like literally, this is the best thing ever. He loves he all loves of this. Books. And he loves lions, which is why his birthday yeah. was lion themed because he literally just loves lions. Anything like he has like this lion like um like mouth thing on the wall in his bedroom and every night he wants to say goodnight to it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. purpose in this life i can't wait for all of our future adventures days out and special times with your beautiful family i'm so proud of you and even more proud to call you my godson i promise to always be there for you thank you for making my life and your mummy's life so much brighter you're so handsome adventurous cheeky funny adorable and i can already see how good of a heart you have i cannot wait to see everything you do as a one-year-old now Oakley, I love you so much. Thank you for being the best boy ever. Love, Uncle Con. Oh, that is so cool. That's so cute, Oakley yeah, Bear. Cool. Wow, look at this, Oakley. Wow, really? Oh my gosh, you're so lucky. Thank you so much, Aww. Imogen, Spencer, Renalia, and Oriabella. That is so wow. kind. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love this. Thank you so, so much to everybody that came to Oakley's birthday party and everyone that's kindly got him a gift. He has been so spoiled and he is so grateful. I'm speaking for Oakley. But yeah, we're so grateful that for all of the presents that he got. Thank you so, Thank so much. You. It is now the evening. Of course, we've ordered ourselves at McDonald's. Now Oakley's in bed. But we thought now would be the perfect time to say goodnight and we love you. And we'll see you in the very next video. Love you guys. Bye.